Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday, August 7th. This will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Watch the full length version. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to send or anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And I've already asked the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints to give us a message for our greater good. So I already pulled uh, from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. The first thing I got, and this can be past energy, I feel like it is, you were in this energy of lack, abandonment, rejection, uh, feeling very sad, um, regretful, things not working out in your favor, and this is just um, great sadness. But these are both number fives, which means change. So this was an event that occurred in order for a change to occur in your life. Then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are lining up for you. Things are turning in your favor this time. Uh, we have positive forward movement. Um, this leading to success. I do see a soulmate for many of you. And I see someone that um, did not make good decisions in the past. Uh, is not happy about this soulmate entering your life. But this is your stability. This is someone you will build with. This can be the marriage card. This can be you building um, on a stable uh, foundation with a committed partner. And it's in alignment with you. You know, it talks about a lot of peace and prosperity in that card as well. You're the hermit. You stay to yourself. You know, you you focus on um, your connection with, with God and receiving divine enlightenment. So this new beginning with this soulmate, this passionate new beginning is a gift from God. It could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone that's very passionate. Um, but it is divine love. Another ace, ace of cups. It is divine love. And also... The financial uh, lack that you have experienced in the past is about to change because now we have the Six of Pentacles. And in this deck, it, it talks about you receiving back all that you've put out into the world, all of the, the love, all of the kindness, everything that you have done. It's an unexpected inflow of abundance is what this card says. So then we have this toxic energy from the past, okay? They want to warn you because this person is still in their ego and you are divinely protected from them. For many of you, you will get communication. It could be a Leo. Um, but this person's going to come in with emotional offer. They are manifesting a new beginning where they can work with you. And they're going to really try to pour out their emotion to you. They're going to really try to get you, pull at your heartstrings. God is saying, um, you know, you are in this energy of the Nine of Pentacles, the Lady of Luxury. You're independent, you can stand alone. You don't need to be um, dependent on another, especially someone that you don't trust. You're being blessed financially for the choices that you've made. And the Divine is asking you to remember what this lower vibrational energy put you through, the Ten of Swords, great suffering, great suffering, and focus on your creative endeavors. Um, career opportunities, helping other people, because that is what's gonna bring in so much happiness in your life, okay? So I wanna pull from another deck to see what comes out. Let's see, let's use this deck. See what else we need to know. One more, let's see. Let's see what we need to know. That came out quick, yep. Ooh, what do we need to know? Yeah, you know what? They're saying um, this person from the past that's not happy is experiencing karma. The divine is asking you to step away, uh, to not get in the middle of this person's karma and to focus on your creative endeavors. Um, they are gonna rush in because they are filled with so much anxiety and stress uh, because of the karma they're experiencing. There's no peace in their life and God is asking you to stay out of this situation because he doesn't want you to be affected. Yeah, look, cut him out. Don't, don't have anything to do. Don't engage. Don't communicate. Yeah, this person um, is starting to reap karma for the, all of the deception um, that they put you through. You know, you already know what this person has done, but God doesn't want you to be manipulated emotionally by this toxic energy, with this came out in the previous deck. Um, God wants you to separate yourself because this person is experiencing karma. Yeah, look, close the cycle and walk away. And I know most of you have, I know you have, 
But what's on the other end of this cycle, um, this new cycle is the Ten of Cups for you. Emotional fulfillment, complete emotional fulfillment, your happiness, what you deserve, right? New opportunities headed your way as well. What else do we need to know? Yeah, you, you find inner balance through the wisdom that you've gained in this experience, okay? You have found inner balance. What else do we need to know? Oh, that was too many. That was a lot. Yeah, divine timing is now. So things are turning around for you in a, in a big way, and it's in an expedited way. So yes, you've been through so much. You've been through so much. But now it's time for you to see the brighter things in life, the happier things in life, um, taking your power back, being in, in control of your own life, not relying on others. Um, yeah, you're on a new journey, and this is your justice. This new beginning that leads to emotional fulfillment is your justice. It's, it's what you deserve, this new beginning. A new beginning, yeah. You're, there, this is, there's an end to this uh, lack or poverty. Whether this is the abandonment and rejection that you endured or this is financial lack. They're, the divine is stepping in and putting an end to that. Yeah, you'll be celebrating soon. You're going to be happy. You're going to be celebrating. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. And it was in my deck upside down and Spirit told me it's upright. So in case you saw that on camera, uh, you are being blessed financially. And that's what came out. An end to poverty. Death to poverty. Celebrating new financial opportunities. Yeah. And protecting your energy. Wow, that came out fast. You are in your power and you can't be um, confused. No one can come in and cause illusion for you because you've already been through so much. Yeah, divine love is also, you're also being gifted with divine love. Yeah, you are the star. This is a wish fulfillment for you. You have healed, you're enlightened, um, and you are the star. You are meant to be seen. There's a sudden change that's coming. What is a sudden change? Mm, yeah. The sudden change is somebody's going to make a U-turn because they don't want you to walk away. They're at a crossroads, feeling really confused, uncertain, but God is saying, you know what, just stay in your lane because victory is yours. You don't have to even worry about what this person is going through. Um, like I said, karma was the first thing that came out. Um, God wants you to work on um, helping others in your community to see from a different perspective you know, spreading your love and light, helping others. Ugh, cards keep falling on the floor. <sighs> yeah, help others to heal from their own heartbreak, their own tragedy, um, speaking their truth, cutting people out of their life that aren't in alignment with them anymore. Um, God protects this. God protects this endeavor. God protects your light and your healing power. Yeah, God, look. And you know, this past person looking at you as a missed opportunity but remaining in their low vibration, this is this is what they have to experience. And yes, a lot of them will try to communicate, but you're not the same person. The wheel's turning in your favor. You're not the same person. You know better. And, um, you know, there's nothing this person can do to convince you otherwise. You're just too smart. You're too smart. You're, in, you're spiritually wise. Yeah. By the book, it talks about the law of cause and effect. What goes around comes around. And that's what this person is learning. What goes around comes around. Yeah, look, they, they're faced to see the truth. What goes around comes around. They're, they're realizing that all that they have done, now they're paying karma for it. So they just said, now they're paying karma for it. You know, and you're here, you know the, the, the law of cause and effect. You understand the laws of karma and you put out um, good. You put out love and light and now you are in this energy of receiving equal to what you've put out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's sad because they know you are home to them and they're surrounded by chaos and conflict while you're here in peace because Spirit said it was time to go because he's got a blessed reward for you. Ah, uh, you guys. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.